Well, uh, we're, we're bringing a delicacy that was overfished in the wild fishery closed of abalone yes. back to the dinner table. Okay. And we do this by in-ocean cage culture, which means we buy juveniles uh, from land-based farms and then grow them out in cages that are suspended under the wharf directly in the water column to market size. How sustainable is this? Oh, it's very, very sustainable. We're, uh, we're on the Modern Day Aquarium Seafood Watch List as a best choice. Really? And this is mainly because we're farming a, an indigenous species to Monterey Bay, which yes. are the California Reds. Mm -hmm. And we're using a very natural and very renewable resource as feed, which is the giant kelp found all along our rocky coasts, and uh, it's one of the fastest growing plants on the planet. This Surface. isn't like clear cutting the Amazon, is it? <laughs> Not at all. Okay. And again, this is one of the fastest growing plants on the planet. Yes. In, in this part of the world, it grows about 14 to 18 inches a day. So it's like cutting grass. It is. And we, it, was, it was determined by NOAA and the sanctuary scientists in 1997 that every year, annually, yes. two, 220,000 metric tons are produced um, in the area that we harvest from. Our level of harvesting is about 250 tons per year. Right. And so that comes out to less than 0.02% uh, um, of the total well, canopy production. Yeah, so it's like zero impact on the environment. It, it really is. And, and no caustic chemicals flowing back into this beautiful bay or anything like that? Not at all. Do you create jobs doing this? We typically have about 200,000 abalone on hand at any one time. Wow. And it takes a workforce of about 10. So you're creating jobs? We're creating jobs. So it's sustainable? And it's good for the economy because it's creating jobs. And do you ship all this stuff overseas? Is that where it goes? None of it goes overseas. None? None. So let's talk about those cute little sea otters. I guess you'd like to see them go away, huh? Not at all. We, we really? love sea otters. Uh, they keep the crab, the rock crab population in check and, and they could settle, the rock crabs can settle in the, in the grow out cages. And, uh, when they get big, they can do some damage to the So they're the helping apps. you? I think so. They're wow. beneficial. So they're, they are part of the uh, balance of nature here, keeping the predators of your abalone at bay. Absolutely. So, Trevor, from this experience you had, what are some of the best practices? What are the lessons learned that could uh, mean something in terms of how we uh, grow our food and our seafood uh, for America? I think the concept is important for us to support, but I also think we need to demand that, that, that whatever aquaculture is done, is done in an environmentally friendly way. Aquaculture uh, supplies um, about 46% of what we half, almost half. Wow! Of what is con consumed, aquatic species that are consumed around the globe, and that's up from 31% in 2000. You know, I like to think that someday we can get to 100%, so that we're not uh, damaging our, our resources in the ocean. Can you just imagine if we got to 70 or 80 percent right of what we consume? I think that's achievable. What a hopeful and, message there. It really wow. is. Wow. Well, thank you.